Hey guys, Wayne here from Tech Made Easy. Today I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks on the Fitbit Charge 3. Let's jump right in. The first tip is going to be how do you change the watch face? So this is our normal watch face with the time and this current one shows the date and the heart rate monitor. But there's a lot of different uh, clock faces that are available and I want to show you how to get to that. So you're going to open up the Fitbit app. The icon looks like that. Upper right corner, click on your little Fitbit icon in the corner and click on clock faces. And here you'll have a big selection or a, a modest selection of clocks. Click on all clocks. And these are some different options you have available. And they have some new ones that they've just added, so that's pretty cool. So like this one, for example, if you wanna see all your stats on one screen, I can go ahead and tap on the stat heavy one and just click select and it should sync pretty quickly. Usually it takes about five to 10 seconds, but as soon as that bar gets all the way across, we'll jump over to our Fitbit. You'll see it's loading right now. And before you know it, we'll have our new watch face. There we go, we're all done. And now we have our, what's called the stat heavy screen that shows your steps, heart rate, calories burn, and location all in one swoop. So. That's just a really cool way to do that. It's super easy. Let's jump into our next uh, tip. So the next tip is gonna be, how do you turn on app notifications? So you can actually uh, see different things that are happening on your phone happen on your Fitbit. So if you go back, we're gonna go down to notifications. So general and notifications, tap on that. And on this screen is where you'll actually customize the notifications. What do you want from your phone to come over to your Fitbit? So for example, you want to turn on your calls, text messages, calendar, email. These are sort of the general features. But if we tap on app notifications, you can actually go in and say, I want to get notifications from specific apps. Now granted, the screen is only so big, so I would be cautious. You don't want to turn on too many things. But like uh, an example of something that I might turn on would be, let's see, maybe you'll want banking notifications from Chase. You could turn that on. Um, you could turn on, maybe if you have like a special uh, email app, you could turn that on that's separate from the regular email app. Um, you can even turn on Facebook notifications if you wanted to see those type of things. So you have a, basically you can go in and you can select any app that you want. And if you want the notifications to shine through, um, you just check the box. Uh, Hangouts is one I normally like to check because I have a buddy who uses Hangouts. So when he gets, when he sends me messages, I make sure that they're not only going to come on my phone, but they're going to come on the Fitbit charge as well. So after that, when you're done, just go ahead and go back and now it'll save whatever you've selected. So that's essentially how um, you customize your app notifications. Now our next tip is gonna be uh, taking those um, app notifications to the next level. So not only can you uh, get notifications of different things, you can also uh, respond. For example, if someone does send you a text message, you're actually able to send a, uh, a reply to them. Obviously there's no keyboard on here, but you can create uh, what are called quick replies. So when someone does text you, you can just simply text them right back. So I'm actually gonna send myself a text message so you can see how it comes through. And I'm gonna show you how you would, you would then reply. All right, and there it is guys, the text message just came through. So now, if I just tap on my screen, or if you're, it's on your wrist, you just turn your wrist, the screen will come on. There is our text message. Now, I can go ahead and just tap on it, or actually, as you swipe up, you can tap on reply, and then you have some pre-selected responses. So yes, no, sounds good, can't talk now, we'll reply later, and what's up. Now those are the, the pre-recorded responses or the basically pre-selected, but in the app you can change them and make them whatever you want them to be. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on uh, quick replies right here. Let me clear it up so you guys can just see it. I wanna make sure it's clear. There we go. So I'm gonna tap on messages. 
and basically you can change the quick replies for each app as well. So um, these are the five. Yes, no, sounds good, can't talk, what's up? Um, I can also make it emojis as well. So you can have an emoji response. Uh, but maybe you wanna say, you know, busy working out, you know, or uh, leave me alone, whatever. All you, you basically have five different options here. So these are our five responses. And basically you have five lines here. You just tap on it and just change the text. And now when someone texts you and you tap on reply, you can just swipe up and pick the response that's relevant. So this is a cool way I think to be able to customize things to, you know, make it more unique to the things that you would say. So maybe you wouldn't say, sounds good. You'd say something different. Go ahead and change it. And then again, you do have those emoji options as well to reply. So um, also in here, you will see, you can uh, customize those quick responses for different apps. So, oh, sorry, quick reply, here we go. So like you can have a different uh, quick reply for Gmail, for example, for Hangouts, for Calendar. You can, you can kind of customize them based on what you're doing. So that is pretty cool. All right, guys, our next little tip is gonna be how do I answer the phone when someone calls? So you can actually pick up a call from your watch uh, when someone calls. Let me show you how to do that. Now you can't talk through your Fitbit, but you can at least pick up the call. Maybe you're running to get to the phone, but you're not quite there. That's okay, you can at least pick it up and then um, it will jump right over to your phone. So let me go ahead and we're gonna call that number so you can see what it looks like. So calls coming through there. My Fitbit is vibrating. What you're gonna do is swipe up and you can tap on the check mark to answer or the X to decline the call. I'm gonna hit the check. And now the call has been answered. And there we go, Oops, screen went off. So it does pick up the call for you and then you, it will kick right over to your phone. So really cool thing, you know, again, just being able to have that extra control. Obviously the Fitbit charge is not a smartwatch. Um, it's a fit, it's a fitness tracker, so it's a little bit limited, but the fact that Fitbit is adding all these extra little things just to allow you to do more, uh, I love it because I'm kind of, I don't, I, I want a smartwatch, but like I want something that's a little bit simpler and that's why I'm, I'm in love with the Fitbit Charge 3. So anyway, that's how you pick up a phone call or decline a call as well. Maybe if you don't want your phone sitting in your pocket vibrating. And our final little uh, tip here is going to be getting more apps. So let's tap on that uh, icon right there for the Fitbit Charge in the corner. Tap on apps. There's not that many, just to give you a heads up, but these are just a few that are that come built in. If we go to all apps, it's all the same one. So um, you can customize them. For example, your weather app, you can have this uh, basically link to a specific city. And basically it uses your phone data to pull the weather and then you can see that weather from your Fitbit. So right now I don't have a city selected, so I'm gonna go in and add a city and I'm just gonna add Los Angeles. And that should be good enough right there. And just that easy, I can add that as the city. So now, if I wanna see the weather, it will just use the phone data to send that over to the Fitbit. And that's just tapping the screen and swiping over and tapping on weather. And there's our weather right there. A little blurry, but there it is. Anyway, guys, this has been uh, tips and tricks on the Fitbit Charge 3. Um, it's a device that a lot of people assume doesn't do much, but it does a lot more than you think. And that's why we wanted to do this video so we could show you some of the cool things you can do. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you learned some new things in the video and if you found it helpful. Uh, show us some love. Hit that like button if it was helpful as well. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care and have a good one.